Sometimes there's just a thin line between goal or no goal. Whether the ball is in or out depends on just a few tiny pixels or polygons or millimeters, whatever you want. However you may describe it, you probably all know these situations that are really, really tight. And whether you're a rookie or you've already played for like 3000 hours, there's always going to be something new in Rocket League. Some situations that are kind of familiar but you've never seen them before in this specific way. Because every match is unique and probably every goal is a one-of-a-kind thing you experience. And sometimes it's the little things that have the biggest consequences. Have your Rocket League intuition and perception of gameplay tested in a little new game I'd like to call Goal or No Goal. Hello Rocketeers, here I am sliding towards you with my nine pre-selected game scenes where the ball could be in or not. Uh, I always pause it in between for a few seconds so you can decide is it a goal or no goal. Good luck. Let's go! Scene number one, a very good pass by me to my opponent and what do you think? Oof, close one. No goal here. Let's take a look at the scene in slow motion. I feel you. Next scene, after my brilliant back pass, my teammate does what? Exactly nothing. But wait for it. Here it comes. Oh my god. A classical case of a whiff whiff situation followed by a pool billiard technique. For number three I get myself the perfect setup, but what will happen next? Of course, I missed a shot, but the scene's not over yet. Ooh. Let's take a look at this fancy mechanic again. Just like I planned. This one is really spot on. After a little back pass to my teammate, he gets the ball in the corner and has a decent opportunity, but that's not the scene I wanted. This is. Yep, no goal. Let's use this rubbish again. Just tried to push it in, but no way. Three pixels. For number five, you have to be quick. Will it be a redirect shot or will it be a Cooksy pinch goal? You decide. None of set options. But I almost said I would like to see that from a different angle. Oh boy. A promising corner play is part of this scene, but will the ball end up in the goal? I could save it here. Or here, or here, or... oh no. Analysis. I bump my mate here so he gets pushed away from the ball, then I want to clear the ball, but just hit him with it. Get myself thrown into the ball that lands against the post and my disorientated mate just makes a backflip and misses it again, so... Just an average champ one goal, I guess. Lucky number seven, but will it be lucky for this guy?
Oof, unlucky. Let's take another look at it. What a safe. This clearing attempt is just for context purposes and so you get a better view of the situation. The blue team's attacking the red team's goal and after his teammate does a decent demo job in the corner he gets the ball centered and served on a silver platter. Another great save. Let's take a look from his point of view. This slow motion hurts so much. Boing. For the last scene I wanted to show you a whole situation after the kickoff when I make at first this little fake thingy and can't believe myself but then I wait for the perfect pass to come to me and have the opportunity for a redirect maybe? Core shot? Oh yeah baby, let's end this one with a goal. Happy thoughts, happy 12 flick thingy the other person just can't reach. Happy with it. And are you happy with your guesses? Let's take a look at the scoreboard. How many situations did you predict correctly? 7 to 9 points make you a pro, with 4 to 6 ones your content creator and with 3 or less right guesses your bot, like me. And speaking of like me, Please like me and my video, this one and all the others, and subscribe, maybe? <laughs>